they use a lot of English uh, in their words. And if they don't have a word, they'll just Englishize it. Uh, they, oftentimes you'll, you'll hear them refer to it as Taglish or Elongish or uh, Cebuanish, um, where they just mix the two. And so um, everybody over there studies English in school from grade school on through college. Um, many of them understand better than they can speak, but uh, English is very highly used. They watch television shows in English. Um, and so they will understand a fair bit of English, but it's it's really nice to be able to teach them in their own language because there were a number of people that we visited with that had been taught before missionaries learned the language when only English speaking missionaries served there and there was so much that they did not learn that they pretended to understand or, or thought they understood and and really didn't and we had a chance to teach them again in their own language and it was it was eye-opening for them to to find out uh, things that they had never understood before um, so you know it being brought to them in their own tongue is is highly important for the work and it, it's so much more effective english is becoming a really big thing in the philippines um, since america entered and kind of took over the Philippines in the early 1900s and they've just had a presence there ever since whether or not they've been in, in charge of the uh, country but um, it's one of the official languages so it's, it's taught in all the schools they have English class but um, depending on where you're serving and the people that are in the area is going to be a huge indicator of how good that they are at Spanish or English and that's because people that are from rural areas just tend not to understand English or speak English nearly as well. Maybe they didn't go to school, maybe they didn't finish school, but a big thing is it's kind of like a culture in the Philippines where they're like fascinated by Americans and American things and they like them, they want to like incorporate them into their culture. But specific people kind of target and ridicule others who either understand and speak English fairly well or who are trying to. And a very big thing about that too is Filipinos, for the most part, this isn't like completely true for every Filipino, but as a general rule, they're super, super shy. So you'll meet a lot of Filipinos who sometimes you'll hear them speak english and they sound great they're doing it correctly they have like proper grammar and everything but they're not going to do it very often especially when they know that you or any other americans are around because they think that they're going to mess up and that you'll laugh at them even if you tell them that you will not they think that so they don't do it they're also afraid that some of their friends might hear them and make fun of them but just alongside of that there are varying degrees of proficiency in English. You have a person like my trainer who knew practically very little, if not nothing, in English. He had a hard time communicating with me in English or anyone else in English. And you have somebody else that was a really close friend of mine as another missionary in the mission and I could talk to him in straight English and he didn't have a problem with it. So it's something that you can use in the mission especially you know with your fellow missionaries so maybe your mission president depending on what they want or your companion themselves will ask you to teach them english or help them practice their english if they do definitely respect them for that because that's very um, courageous of them based on their culture and the way that most of them are for them to do that but at the same time don't be surprised if they don't want you to do it or kind of laugh at you or joke at you about it if you do it especially ones that aren't members just random filipinos on the street little kids love making fun of people that speak english just kind of something that you got to get used to but uh it doesn't happen all the time so the the biggest thing that i have to say about english is don't allow it to become a crutch for you in learning and using the language if you are fluent in the language, you can use it without a problem. You think English is better in this situation for whatever reason, go ahead, try it, unless your mission president tells you differently. But I would not use it to fall back. I don't know how to say this in Cebuano, so I'll just say it in English instead. 
because then you're just going to hold on to that and limit how quickly and proficient or fluent you get in the language.